I'm Henry Fuang. I lead the powertrain and thermal engineering teams at Rivian. My team is responsible for developing um, the drive units, um, the, both the quad and, and the dual. At a high level, a drive unit is essentially what converts the onboard energy in the battery pack into motor power. It's what drives the vehicle down the road. Um, obviously, we've, we've launched with, with a quad motor drive, uh, drive unit. When, when we say quad, by the way, we mean quad as in four per vehicle. So when you're looking at an actual drive unit, a quad drive unit would actually have two motors within it, and a dual uh, motor vehicle would have one motor per axle. But, but it's, it's the number of motors total for the vehicle. And the motors, in the case of the, the quad drive unit, are we've got one on each side. It's actually a very symmetrical drive unit. Um, it, it's, it's very appealing to the eye to look at because it's effectively the same left and right. But, um, but, but starting with the inverter, we, we actually directly connect the inverter through what we call bus bars directly into the, into the motors themselves for a very efficient um, transfer path. And the motors themselves uh, convert the electric energy into mechanical energy. That's what r rotates ultimately the, the wheels. Um, so we do that through essentially a magnetized shaft that spins within each, each motor. And that shaft connects to the gear train, which if you were to look at the back of the drive unit is kind of where it's housed. Um, in, in the case of our, our quad motor drive system, the way we've designed the drive unit is such that really holistically in the vehicle, we give you not only good longitudinal performance, um, goes like a bat out of you know what, but also it can handle very, very well on road, off road. And the way we've done that is essentially drive internally uh, the gear train to, to essentially multiply that torque uh, to for a lot of torque in this case to get you that, that performance, but also make, make sure that we go as close to center line of the vehicle as possible to give you that wheel articulation that these vehicles are, are known for. So that's, that's the quad. That's what some of you have owned. That's what some of you drive today. But how does that, how does that kind of migrate over to, to, to the dual? The first thing I'll point out here is when you're looking at the drive unit, the actual drive unit part portion of it is just this. It's a little, it goes from a rectangle to more of a square. This other structure here is really to allow the dual motor to sit in the same space as the quad in the vehicle. So it's, it's basically a structure that spans the whole width of the vehicle. But, but you're looking at the, a dual motor that's effectively the, you know, something that's not too much larger than a little carry-on. So same thing, we, we, we still have an inverter, we still have a motor, and we still have a gear train system. But the way we've done it with the dual is, is uh, very much focusing on optimization around not only efficiency of the drive unit, but space, um, mass. And the way we've done that is we've taken this, uh, this three-in-one structure, as we call it, basically the primary structure of the drive unit, and we've just stuffed it with parts that typically go into or have their own housings and we bolt them together. In this case, we've just, we've taken uh, an entire case here. You can sort of see the cavity of the motor here we, where we, uh, on our manufacturing line, assemble the rotor and the stator, the motor itself, into. And then on the other side, we've got the, uh, the cavity for the gear train that the motor interfaces with. And then the coolest part is we actually install the inverter into the lid of the system and we finish it off on the assembly line by capping the lid on. And there's your three in one. You've got the inverter, you've got the motor, and you've got the gear train all in one. What that means in the vehicle is really, this is still an absolutely incredibly high performing um, drive unit. And, and in the vehicle itself, it's still capable of mind blowing acceleration numbers. The only thing that you would probably, you know, see taillights on are a vehicle with this in it. So, um, Who's, who are these kind of four? I, I, I would say the way I would look at it is the, the, the dual motor isn't a product that in a traditional sort of quote unquote entry level sense, it's not really a product that um, does most things for the average customer. I would say it's more of a product that does everything for most customers. And, and that's sort of a, a distinction there is it's just the right product for many people. It's absolutely phenomenal in the straight line. It's absolutely, absolutely phenomenal and still in, in, the, in the corners. Um, where it gives up some to the quad motor is obviously the torque control over each individual wheel and tire that the quad offers. Um, the, the three second flat zero to 60 performance. There, there's still obviously some differences there, but this is, this is uh, for 350 mile range and, and, um, and absolutely stonking performance. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a heck of a, of a product offering.